Dear students, now we are going to discuss Class A amplifier in detail. Class A amplifier is a large signal amplifier which produces 360 degree amplified output signal. That means in this circuit the transistor is on for the full cycle of the AC input signal. If the input is a AC input then we can get the AC output signal for 360 degree conduction. Okay. There are two types of class A amplifiers available. One is directly coupled class A amplifier. The next one is transformer coupled class A amplifier. In this video lecture we are going to discuss directly coupled class A amplifier. This is the directly coupled class A amplifier circuit. So in this circuit we are going to use power transistor to amplify the large power signal. So that is the major difference between the power amplifier and the normal amplifier. So here the transistor is a power transistor. You will understand this concept. Since the low resistance is connected to this collector directly, we can say this is a directly coupled class A amplifier. Okay. So, so whenever an AC input signal is given to the circuit, the transistor is on for the full cycle of the input signal to produce 360 degree amplified output signal. If you are going to give only this VCC that is power supply, here we can get the DC power. Okay, so this DC power is known as supply power. This DC supply power is based on this supply voltage alone. There is no input signal. Okay. So whenever the supply is given to the circuit, the current flowing through this collector circuit is ICQ. Then the DC power is equal to VCC multiplied with ICQ. That is called as DC supply power. So whenever we are going to give the input signal, then only we can get the output power. Next we are going to analyze class A amplifier to get the efficiency. So let's start with this DC power. As I told you, the DC power is provided by the supply voltage without any AC input signal. So without any AC input signal, if VCC is given to the circuit, current run to this collector circuit is ICQ. Then the DC supply power is given as VCC multiplied with ICQ. Consider this as the first equation, okay? So next we are going to analyze AC power. AC power means whenever the input is given to the circuit, it will give the amplified output signal. So that is called as AC output power. For that we can analyze this output characteristics. The output characteristics is between the collector current versus collector to emitter voltage with respect to base current. Okay. So here we have to consider this AC load line. Here the Q point or operating point is located at the center of this load line. With respect to this Q point, we can get the swing of this output current and output voltage. So here, this is the output current. We can represent the maximum current here as IM that is equal to the overall current that is called as IPP, peak to peak. Okay, so minus to plus. IPP divided by 2 that is known as IM okay so similarly here the voltage swing is here in this one this represents VM and here this VM is nothing but is equal to VPP divided by 2 okay so here VPP is the overall voltage value this is called as VPP okay peak to peak voltage next we are going to find out the AC output power. So as we know that power is equal to V into I or I squared R or V squared by RL. So here we can represent the output values as collector voltage, collector current and the load resistance as the output resistance. Okay. So here we have to consider the root mean square values of the output current and voltage. Here VRMS is equal to Vm by square root 2. That is equal to Vm is nothing but VPP by 2. Correct. So VM is equal to what? It is equal to peak to peak voltage by 2. Peak to peak voltage means maximum minus minimum. 
okay so that is divided by 2 here similarly irms is equal to im by square root 2 that is equal to i max minus i mean divided by 2 square root 2 then we have to substitute these two values in this ac output power we can get vm by square root 2 into im by square root 2 that is equal to vm into im divided by 2 okay so this is the ac output power formula it can also be written like this im squared rl by 2 or vm squared by 2 rl in terms of maximum and minimum values we can write the values as v max minus v min by 2 into i max by i min by 2 the whole divided by 2 then we can get then we can get v max minus v min into i max minus i min divided by 8 so this is an another formula consider this is the third equation so we are going to solve problems using this formulas okay next we are going to find out the efficiency of this class a amplifier here efficiency represents the amount of ac power delivered to the load from the dc supply power so it is represented as the ratio of ac power delivered to the load from this dc supply power it is also called as conversion efficiency or theoretical efficiency so here we can represent this efficiency in terms of eta. So eta in terms of percentage is equal to the ratio of AC output power to DC supply power into 100. Then we can substitute the third and first equations in this formula. That is V max minus V min into I max minus I min divided by 8. Here DC supply power is VCC into ICQ multiplied with 100. So consider this as the fourth equation. So this is the general formula of efficiency. Okay. In terms of RMS values, we can substitute this VM IM by 2 formula over here. Then we can divide this value. So that is equal to 50 into VM IM by VCC ICQ. This is an another one formula to find out the efficiency. So next we are going to find out the maximum efficiency of this class A amplifier. So for maximum efficiency, the maximum swings of both voltage and current can be considered. So maximum swing is considered like this. Okay, so in this one, so maximum voltage is equal to VCC. Here maximum current is equal to two times the ICQ values. Okay, so here I min is equal to zero, V min is equal to zero. Substitute these values in the fourth equation, then we can get V minus 0, I minus 0. So V max is nothing but VCC. Here I max is nothing but 2 times ICQ. Then we can divide all the terms over here. So it is only 25 percentage. Okay. So here the efficiency of directly coupled class A amplifier is only 25 percentage theoretical value. In practical, we can get 10 to 15 percentage alone. Okay, so this is the major drawback of class A amplifier. It provides very poor efficiency. Okay, so next power dissipation. So power dissipation means the difference between the DC input power and the AC output power. Amount of power is dissipated in terms of heat. Okay, next maximum power dissipation. So here maximum power dissipation occurs when there is no AC input signal. So without AC input signal, if you are going to give only the supply voltage VCC to the circuit, then the maximum power is dissipated in terms of heat without input signal. So here we can take the DC supply power as a maximum dissipated power if there is no input signal. Do you all understand this concept? So next advantages of this class A amplifier, this directly coupled class A amplifier is a simple circuit, it does not have any transformer, so it is cheaper, less number of components required as the load is directly connected to the collector circuit. So there are certain disadvantages, it has very high power dissipation, it provides poor efficiency, it cannot be used for low impedance loads especially loudspeakers okay so loudspeaker is having the impedance range from 
4 to 20 ohm. This class A directly coupled class A amplifier does not support this low impedance load. Okay. So it is not suitable for loudspeakers. So next the load is directly connected in collector circuit. So here it may cause large amount of power wastage. So this are the major disadvantages. In order to overcome this disadvantage we can go for transformer coupled class A amplifier.